Hey guys, my name is David Boyd. I'm doing a quick vlog here. I try to do them every day, but I'm gonna try to do uploads every day. Listen, I was watching a video about like how to make money and talking about you know the YouTube grind, various dot com type businesses and ways of success. It kind of fired me up again because you know myself, I still don't know where I'm going. I mean. Growing up, you know, I was told that when you retire, you're going to play golf, you're going to be old, you're going to have like a million grandkids, and, well, guys, that was someone else's dream. That's what they thought that retirement should be. Obviously, it wasn't my parents' idea, because they never they never went that route. And um, I don't really have any kids, and I'm not married now, although I hope to be very soon here again. But I was divorced, and it was like the worst financial decision I've ever made, getting married. It, it was like the biggest disaster. I was probably a few years away from a uh, kind of retirement that would have had me reselling stuff. This is before I knew eBay. You, you guys got to remember, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of uh, backwards to the whole um, technological stuff. I mean, I just started Facebook, and so. And anyways, on my Instagram, David1664. Anyways, on to it, guys. So I do resells, estate items, you have it. Um, look at trying to find ways to supply things that resell on eBay and just keep those items in. Hot little cars are not a bad way to go. I sometimes buy these in storage lots. This one here, the tab's broken. Um, I can't find my hand because I can't. I'm using an iPad here. Sorry, guys, for the film quality. Some damage here, but the car itself is intact. Bubbles intact. So I gotta be careful how I pack this. I'm not going to show you the shipping information, but here's my cell phone, and that's how your eBay tab works. And I'll have, and I say I put here Hot Wheels 2004 First Edition Chevy Impala package is damaged because to me the packaging is a big deal, and generally it is to most people. Of course, you can just scroll through, see the different pictures I took, etc. This is a this is when the uh, iPhone XS Max. Not that really matters. All right, guys. So, we're going to go step by step on this. First things first, you guys. This is a, not a good way to buy bubble wrap. I purchased it this way because I've been lazy and I've been procrastinating and just doing other things, working on my trains, doing RC cars. And guess what? I live 92 miles away from the store where I go buy big, big things of bubble wrap. So, this came from Fred Meyer. It was on sale for $5.69. But this stuff does not go very far. And you got to figure the cost of this, your peanuts, tape, all that stuff, when you're doing uh, ship outs. Okay, guys, and um, try this one handed, it's not going to work. I can't do this one handed, but I'm going to wrap it up in the bubble wrap. I use eBay tape because it's cheaper. I can buy it really, really cheap. I love that clear stuff from 3M. Uh, if you buy it locally here, it's about $7.99 a roll, and you can go through like 10 or 12 rolls a week obviously no one your customers meaning do not want to be charged that extra so you're going to find other ways to get around these little boxes guys are pretty cheap at the local grocery store i do often use hot glue and then i tape the tabs down here um these boxes are 96 cents i also buy them off of ebay i try whenever i can to reuse boxes a cool trick you may find if you uh, if you buy a box like a, oh, I don't know, something that's all marked up with like, you know, Amazon labels or eBay or it's got your address written over it. You can either use brown or tan spray paint and spray paint over all that. Or you can spray paint it anyways and then flip the box inside out and use hot glue. Just a way of keeping, you know, your advertisements from going out of place and just a good way to reuse things because you got to really try to cut, cut your corners. At least I do because I, I'm a cheap reseller. For example, like this box here. The empty box here, right? It's an eBay box. You want eBay boxes or eBay tape? Just go to your eBay site and put in eBay packing supplies. It'll give you a link. Hey guys, um, I'm still pretty low tech. I'm still, well, I've been an eBay here since 2011, but it wasn't until about a year, year and a half ago that I flipped into a, a selling mode. I mean, for real. Like before, it's kind of a pain. I use the auctions, and you get charged for listing. And you get charged for relisting, so be very careful. I would highly recommend not using auto list. That way you have more control. Anyways, I would list things, no one would buy it, no one would bid it. Just sit there, keep repaying for it. So I'd only list like a couple items at a time. 
Um, and the problem with that is, is you, you're not going to make any money. You, you can't go anywhere. I mean, you can't even hardly make it on that. So now I list. Of, I only have. I still have about around 500, 450 to five hundred items right now. Uh, pretty much sell pretty much everything, but I put a lot of them by it now. Sell garage sale items, thrift store items, uh, brand new items, whatever it is. The brand new items. A good question come from that. Is hold on a minute here. I'll do a quick. Hey, you got a guy who's got an excuse of mess. I raise like you know cockroaches and grasshoppers too. See these boxes? Texas UDR. Arm Italian, Arm Creighton, E Revo, Texas Slash, Ultimate, Rock Crawler, the uh, Poison Spider, Drop Down, a brand new, brand new Pro Line Body Shell, a rare Barbie shopping with uh, Walmart, and then of course another Italian, all new in the box. Now I buy these items on eBay. Um. I mean, I'm sorry, no, no, no. I buy some items on eBay, but a lot of these items I buy at the local hobby shop. I, I run RC. I love running RC stuff. Um, and it's a blast. And I break stuff, and, you know, I make YouTube videos, and I'm starting off. Anyways, let me not get too far off. I buy the stuff, these items, usually on my paycheck or paydays off of eBay, and I buy it in layaway because my local hobby shop gives you bucks back for money spent. Okay, actual store credit, one for one. So it's like a 10%, okay, but, but the store credit can be used for anything in the store, even stuff that's on sale. So what I do is when I get enough store credit, which I have a lot all the time, I buy batteries and stuff from RC, but I also buy tools, RC tools, RC parts. Now to me, those parts, those tools are free because I would have bought the items from my local hobby shop anyways, right? And then I take and list those things and I can take a much lower price on those items and I sell those on eBay, and sometimes it gets generates more interest than my other items I have on eBay. You see, I sell RC tools. This is my E-Revo, the one I use. Some little die-cast Star Trek guys here. Set of uh, Pro-Line tires. I bought these on credit, or not credit, but rather the, uh, the store points. Um, some of my eBay items I have here. These sets of screwdrivers. Uh, Here's a pretty nice, really nice body reamer metal package. Uh, these little hubs here, these things work really good. They're little dust caps. Really good for your uh, for your RC stuff, your 17 millimeter little uh, kits, little plug adapters. Stuff like that. Just write my address out, which I can't do one-handed, and and then tape it up, and that'll be it, you guys. Another eBay package done, and uh, be going out tomorrow because today's Sunday, and we do actually have postal service at the airport, but it's like 100 miles away, so I don't want to do that. All right. Anyways, you guys, if this has been helpful, if this gives you some inspiration, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscription. Um, there's guys like Kevin Talbot out in England, who's a professional at this, a lot better, and that's where he's giving me most of the input, but. I just want to talk to just a regular guy who owes money, got car payments on two cars, got a car I owe a bunch of money on, and it's got like 140,000 miles on it. Man. Anyways, give me a like, give me a subscription. Just say hi, man. Till next time. Ciao.